welcome back to the channel or if this is your first time seeing my face welcome on my channel i share my many journeys of life as a homeowner i bought my fixer upper i've been doing renovations projects makeover so that's like the majority of what i've been doing lately but you'll also see like fitness plants shopping or whatever is on my heart to share so just know that whatever it is it is good vibe related so if that's your kind of thing feel free to subscribe join the tribe we would love to have you i'm sure the title of this video is a dead giveaway so it's no secret <laughs> however i don't know how to start this video y'all because it's happening and um i'm excited today is the day that my main living area is going to get a huge facelift and i am both excited and nervous because i'm nervous about everything because i'll be overthinking but as with everything we are going to manifest that this is just going to be an amazing amazing change for the downstairs y'all i ain't gonna talk your heads off let's get straight into it uh le blue le blue if you ain't new you know about Lil Blue. This has been my baby. P.O.P. done held it down, okay? She looked a little sad. But to this day, she's extremely comfortable. Let me be very clear. She has held me down since moving to Florida in 2012, okay? She's from rooms to go. Nobody asked. I just felt the need to say it. This is my little baby. She's gone from apartment to apartment. I have been holding on to her. My plan when I bought my house was boom, I'm about to get a brand new couch, brand new this, brand new that and quickly realized it is not as simple as it sounds. So I decided to hold on to Little Blue. She's very comfortable. She does what she needs to do. It's just time to let go of what was and bring in the new into something that kind of represents my new style, my new space, and just bringing in the new y'all. And I honestly surprised myself because technically I bought this house last year, June, 2020, right? Fixer upper, so I didn't technically move in until October of last year. I've been thugging it out with blue. I've even tried to put a cover over her just to kind of make her work. But I reached a point where I'm like, yeah, I need a new couch for the new house. So with that being said, y'all, we got a new couch for the living room. We got a new couch for the house and we are going to experience this together. Come on. Now brace yourself. <laughs> I did not expect these boxes to be so huge. But this is the Value Feather Sectional. This is the Mario Capazza collection and it is absolutely beautiful. Now I have not seen this up close and personal yet. Y'all know how I like to do first impressions, unboxing me, experiencing it for the first time with y'all. So that's what we are about to do. When I tell you the boxes are big, um, the boxes are big, but I'm excited. I am excited, y'all. This video is not sponsored. They do not pay me to give my opinions or review on this couch. They were just so gracious, so kind, and just so amazing to send me this, to be able to review it, unbox it, share it with y'all, give my honest opinions, and more importantly, begin to change the vibe in the house. I, it still don't feel real that we're gonna be saying goodbye to Blue, y'all. Kind of makes me sad. But anyways, this is the feather sectional. The guy that delivered it, it was delivered at night. He was kind enough to set it up in a way that, you know, you basically just sit it down and this is how it would be. I got the 142 inch long sectional right facing and I also got the ottoman. Obviously they're just big boxes right now so we're not gonna spend too much time on that. But, but what we have to do before we even talk about unboxing or bring it in the new sofa is clear this out. Oh my God. <laughs> the goal is to get blue in this room and her in here. Blue is a sleeper sofa, y'all, and she is super heavy. I'm going to attempt to do this by myself. But look, if it don't work out, then I'm just gonna have to call for help. But I get a lot of comments like, girl, you need to have somebody help you. You need to do to do that. If it's one person I know I can rely on, it's me. So I always try to do things on my own first. It's just second nature to me and what I know. So I'm gonna try and attempt to do this by myself. So we're gonna lean her bike, take her legs off and try and slide her in. That's what she said. The good thing about it is my floors are, you know, slidey. So hopefully I'd be able to just kind of push and slide, but we'll see. This is literally my car mount on a mirror. And I think it was a genius idea.
you're fine, when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. <laughs>
Okay, so here she is. Here she is. <laughs> here she is, y'all. This is so freaking beautiful. I know in the video it probably still looks beautiful. Probably still looks beautiful. But in front of me, it is just gorgeous. <laughs> this is the color beige. It's like a tan ivory type beige though. It's not like a brownish beige. It definitely pulls more on the white side without being white because it's definitely a tan. Now this is a feather sectional y'all, so it does have feathers. Some people consider this to be a cloud couch dupe. It's obviously not like an exact replica, but the pillows have that down feather in it and it's just so plush like to me i'd say this is similar to the cloud couch but a more a more durable functional version of it the fabric i honestly thought was like a microfiber or more of like a suede it is kind of textured if that makes sense so it's it gives you kind of microfiber kind of that suede um but a different texture to it the quality is amazing like these pillows these pillows first and foremost are heavy like these pillows are heavy. One of the biggest selling points for this couch, y'all, were that all of the pillows are removable, right? All the pillows are removable. Not only that, all of the cushions are also removable. Um, and they stay in place because they are Velcro to the bottom. So the cushions are removable. You can literally wash this entire sectional or the entire feathers collection regardless. And when I say wash it all, Y'all, I'm getting down here. And when I say wash it all, y'all, even this part comes off. Like you can literally wash the entire thing. And they also sell the covers separately in different colors. So instead of down the line buying a completely different couch, you can completely make over your couch by buying the covers and it would literally be like a brand new couch, y'all. This is so beautiful. <laughs> I'm a little overwhelmed. <laughs> now I'm thinking in my mind, like I have to get a rug now. I absolutely have to get a rug. I will say in all transparency, this couch is low. So take that into consideration if you are looking into this sofa. I measured it with a little blue, my previous sectional, and it's actually the exact same height as that, but the feet on blue, are much higher so it raises up the couch a little bit more. It's not a problem to me, y'all. When I lay back into it, y'all, I was gonna say it's like a cushion, but it is a cushion. <laughs> but you know what I mean? It's literally, it feels to me like, oh, like a pillow. <laughs> Very comfortable, I'm 5'10", and the sectional portion covers me perfectly, y'all. I'm just, <sighs> I'm in awe. I'm absolutely in awe. This is beautiful and it's perfect for my space. Everything's looking kind of like a mess, so don't worry about the, the extra things around. This is absolutely just the beginning. I get up with no problem, but again, if you have like back problems, elderly people, and you think that's gonna be an issue, just take that into consideration that it is a lower sitting sofa. I love this ottoman. It gives me that U-shaped vibe, and I can just sit here at the ottoman Put my feet up. It does kind of slide though, I will say that. It kind of slides very, very easily, which could be a good or a bad thing. Once I'm here and I'm on it, it's perfectly fine. The good part about it is if you need it to slide, you can just kind of move it as you like. I don't want to scratch my floor up. You know what I'm thinking? Once I have a rug, it probably won't slide at all. Well, duh. Um, it's probably because I just have it on bare floor, but it is very, very easy to move. If you wanted to use the ottoman as like, like a coffee table type vibe, I'm not a fan of ottomans for coffee tables, but I did see somebody once DIY a wooden coffee table around their ottoman. I am considering that. <laughs> 
now that I look at this, um, because it'll be like multifunctional, I'll be able to have the autumn in there. If I did the coffee table, it'd probably be like more this way, right? So if you've ever seen that, I'm gonna pop a picture up just to give you like an idea. I just think because that ottoman is a little smaller, I don't know how functional it would be, but it would be a nice way to save space and have an extra function if I have like an extra person in here. I don't know, I think I'm gonna do it. I think I, I wasn't even planning on doing it, but I just decided that I think I wanna do that now that I've stepped back and I've seen the way that it looks. I think that would be perfect. It's just finding the right type of wood. It's looking very bare since I don't have the rug, but I wanted to give y'all just like my raw thoughts, my raw opinion of me just kind of like sitting on it. It's not the deepest couch, if I'm honest. It's not the deepest couch. It's probably about the same as my current couch. So if depth is something that's super important to you, make sure that you check the measurements, um, but it's not, too short in depth, if that makes sense. So it's, you know, like I said, I can sit here comfortably, no problem, especially there on the sectional part. I just thought I would mention that. The throw pillows also have the zip open. I don't know how well y'all can see all of this, y'all, but the quality is really, really good. It lines up so perfectly. I haven't actually, look at the floor, oh my God. <laughs> I haven't actually like stepped back and like looked. It literally lines up so perfect, oh my God. Now I could bring it and center it, but I don't want that arm to be too close to the patio. And the way that I measured it was purposely to have the end of that to be against the wall. So, so that's just the way that I wanted it. Could I move it over a little bit more? I probably could. I didn't want that area to be an entrance, but you know what, just for fun, I'm about to center this just to see. I'm almost certain certain it's just going to just be smack dab on this wall which is what I don't want um, but because we've just got it fresh out of the box and ready I'm gonna just slide it over here just to say I'm not gonna lie <laughs> from here I actually prefer it centered yeah I actually prefer it centered from a rear perspective let's just kind of realistically see though okay it's not like too closed in here Oh, but I think, I think I want it centered. I think I want it centered. Please comment below. Tell me what y'all think. Do we prefer it centered? If that's the case, I should have got just the U-shaped sectional. <laughs> Cause they actually have one that's literally made as a U-shape. So like this side is just like that. That way you don't have that, you know, separation in between the couch and the ottoman, but it's okay. Cause it gives me the option to open up this part here, so. Oh my gosh, what do y'all think? Do we like it centered, okay? A little less space here, or do we like it how I had it before, straight up against that wall? I'm thinking centered, but make sure y'all comment down below. Now I'm more eager than ever to find a rug for this space. Like I need a rug for this space. So what I'm about to do, y'all, we gonna head out. We gonna go to the store. Baby, do y'all see her? <laughs> Honey, <laughs> hold another vibe, like, Oh, it's on. So here's the thing. I'm gonna head out to a few stores, y'all. See if we can find a rug. A lot of y'all liked the rug in the last video. I'm gonna be honest, I went back to that store because I was gonna buy it, but it was gone. Somebody already got it. Um, and a lot of y'all also mentioned I can get that same rug or rugs like it online for like $50 less. I went online and the rugs that I like, they about $800, $1,000. Y'all know I don't like to waste my money, so I'm still searching, but also like I'm okay with investing in certain things. And I'm feeling like a rug might might be that, we'll see. Not too much, not too much. Let's be realistic, but I don't wanna just get a cheaper rug or get a rug that I don't really, really love for the sake of saving a couple extra dollars. So let me just stop talking. We're gonna go out and head to some stores and look for some inspiration and let's just see what we find. How to keep the healing, keep the healing.
you need help with any of those? Welcome, thank you. Who is the main people carry them out? Oh my god, right? Like this. <laughs> 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 as deep as the other one and the stripes are broken up so it's not so gray beige gray beige it's a lot more neutral than the one from the home goods previously but well, we're gonna go for it i know this rug hasn't been speaking to me for so long for nothing so about ripping the band-aid off i don't have my car mount right now y'all look i just need y'all to know that this is the last home goods that i've been to today and i've been to a good five maybe six home goods right and i showed y'all the rug i was back and forth about and it just felt too blocky for me just like too dark of a gray with the beige it just gave me very stripes this one here lighter gray so the stripes aren't as harsh um and i liked this one better but i was back and forth back and forth right how about I come back over to the rug and there's a lady on the phone with her husband and she literally is like, she's got her hand on the rug, right? She's got her hand on the rug and she's like, and then she's like, they literally have the same rug um, in a bigger size. And I guess he said, get it. Cause she just stood there and waited for the guy to come cause he was helping other people. And I'm like, dang, dang, oh my God. Why do I have to be so indecisive? But me being me, I'm just slowly going around with my cart, just watching her, just watching her. I'm going from owl to owl, back and forth, back and forth. I don't even know why, because I'm like, she clearly is about to buy this. She started talking to the other ladies that were buying another rug. And I told myself, I'm like, if this rug is for me, please let something miraculously happen. Please. When I tell you this is the rug she was getting, she had this rug out, everything else was flat. She was holding on to this rug, okay? Then I looked over and she was like touching another rug. And then when the guys came to help her, they went over to the other rug and they start taking down the other rug, which was the teal and brown one I showed y'all, which was absolutely beautiful. I just feel like that's gonna blend too much with my floors, but they took down another rug, y'all. So to me, I took it as a sign to just get the rug. Get the rug. The lady even said when she gave me my receipt, hold on to your receipt just in case you have to return it. I guess people do that. That just seems like too much to me. Who wants to buy a rug to return it? Like, that just seems like a lot. But worst case scenario, I can return it. But we got the rug, so we gonna get it home. I don't even know how I'm gonna do this. <sighs> I'm exhausted. <laughs> but we got a rug, so I'll see you at the house. We're back. We're back and the rug is here. Oh, here's the rug. Oh no, wait. Here's the rug. She's very long. It's gonna require me to pick up this couch. And you already know that was a whole thing. So I'm gonna get a little help with the rug, but this is gonna be the test to know. I need y'all to let me know. I need y'all to be honest too. Cause once I get this rug down, it centers this room. And I think, I don't know, I'm, I'm feeling good about it. I'm feeling very, very good about it, but I wanted to give y'all a little update as if y'all wouldn't have seen what I'm doing while I'm doing it. I just had a workout, just hop out the shower and wash my hair, still dripping a little bit, but I'm feeling energized from that, if anybody cares. Okay, bye. Mm -hmm. Baby, won't you come a little closer?
seen her but yeah <laughs> I'm happy with the rug I am so happy with this rug y'all I am so happy with this rug I love it I know the tassels are probably gonna irritate me down the line I had to straighten them all out um, this rug is hand knotted wool so I'm gonna have to figure out a way to control the fuzzies if anybody has any suggestions please let me know but for the quality i'll deal with it i'll figure it out i measured it to a t because i wanted the look of all of the sitting area to be on top of the rug i didn't want the rug to be too small and originally i was going to go for an 8 by 10 that was the original rug that was 2.99 but that would have brought me like it would have had the rug inside kind of like how blue was which is fine but the look that I'm going for is just a more cozy, luxe, full covered rug. And you see that. <laughs> it's like it's like to a T. We kind of finagled getting that rug under there, but I wanted it to come out a little bit in the back too, so that when I enter, I can see that the entire sitting area is on top of the rug. But tell me what y'all think about this rug. It doesn't give crazy stripes, right? But the stripes and the patterns, I think are a beautiful, beautiful accent to this sectional, y'all. I had a mirrored tray. I got it from Home Goods years ago. I'm doing away with that. I want just the exposed wood. I'm gonna need to like buff and clean the top of that. Like I said, this coffee table is sentimental to me. I'm not gonna keep it forever, but I'm gonna hold on to it as long as I possibly can. So yeah, I'm gonna have to like treat the wood. It is solid, real wood. Um, but I got rid of the mirrored tray. I just put everything just kind of top to the surface. I think it gives it a warm, cozy, earthy feel. And I think that just goes very well with the carpet and the sectional. I just, I'm in awe. I am in awe. I'm gonna back up a little bit so you can kind of see. I'm so glad that I ended up centering it. Honestly, that just wasn't, I wasn't gonna even try it. I was not even gonna try to center this couch, y'all. Tell me if y'all enjoy it or if y'all like it centered. Um, I just think it looks very, very well. Now here, I think I wanna go and see if I can get a, one of those very long floating shelves here because now that I'm here, I really just got these because super soft, I like them. I wanted to bring in some warm tones, but I gotta be honest, I wanna decorate for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Having my living room area, y'all, so revamped has just motivated me so much. Like even on the back patio, I need to get either a new succulent or a new plant for under the table. Um, I need to get a plant here and a plant there just to get the vibes going. I pretty much have decided that I'm not gonna wait. I'm about to start shopping for Christmas stuff and I have so much Christmas stuff in the garage, but I think I wanna go a completely different route, which is kind of scary y'all cause that can get expensive. So I gotta chill a little bit. But like, yeah, although I brought in like a few warm touches in all honesty probably gonna do away with that this little situation right here has made me it has just uplifted me so much and it's exactly what I needed and I'm not gonna do like I do every year get in my feelings and hold off on Christmas I'm gonna just go all in I'm gonna just start heading out to the stores and getting into the Christmas spirit but like I said rug I absolutely love tell me what y'all think 
please tell me what y'all think about the rug did i make a good decision i personally feel like it was a really good investment i don't know if y'all can tell by the camera the rug is massive this section was 142 inches wide and the rug is a 9 by 12 so yeah um confession okay i slept on this couch uh two days straight i know i know i know i know i just made a new rule no sleeping on this couch but i'm just gonna tell you right now very comfortable and i woke up feeling very refreshed no back pay or anything like that so this this couch is sleep proof you ain't supposed to be sleeping on your couch but if you know you know it's a very bad habit of mine i'm not gonna do it no more I don't think that's the plan anyways <laughs> i mentioned earlier that the texture of this it gives me kind of suede with microfiber but it is a mixture of linen egyptian cotton and microfiber the quality of this y'all is it's amazing i'm trying to get close up so y'all can really really see the cushions have two layers so the top layer is the goose feathers and the bottom layer is the support polyfoam. So that is why it's not just like a complete sink and it's got some bounce back, but it's very, very, I won't say it's very firm because it's not very firm. This is a soft couch, but you don't just sink into it is what I'll say. And I'll say that after sleeping on it, I'm gonna get 200 plus, okay? Sleeping on it, obviously two days is not a long time to have it. So that's my reference that I have so far, but I'll give y'all an update if y'all want later down the line but i just couldn't be happier i could not be happier y'all that wall back there we painting that black very soon very soon i just feel like it's perfect for my space um it goes beautifully well with my light fixture in addition to the rug it adds that extra boho which i don't have one style it kind of is a collective of a lot of things but the goal is of course to just like collectively bring things in that flow together so i think this addition really grounds this living room so thank you so much value furniture for collaborating with me on this video tell me what y'all think i wish y'all was here so y'all could tell me in the live but i'm gonna meet y'all in the comments i'm gonna end this video here um coming up coming up i'm gonna be heading to some stores looking at christmas stuff christmas haul is probably coming up soon let me know let me know what y'all think about christmas content i like to get your feedback and what y'all think let me turn this camera around here we go again <laughs> <laughs> I like to get y'all feedback and what y'all think. Um, I procrastinate on everything in life. And what I don't want to procrastinate on for the first time ever is Christmas this year, 2021. I'm going to take full advantage of it and just see if it gives me the cheer that I need in my heart and in my soul. So let me know if y'all are excited about that. Um, Looking out here, I, I need to get some plants for this patio. I need to get plants for this patio and somewhere to put these tools because I don't want to put them in the garage. There's just things to do, so yeah. <laughs> this is a whole blessing and I'm just thankful, so. I'm gonna leave their information down in the description box below. They have a lot of things on their site. It's definitely not just sofas. They have all furniture throughout your home. What I'll also say is right now it is so hard to get a couch. <laughs> that you like you know what i'm saying in all honesty there were a few couches that i actually had my eyes on and i mentioned it before but realistically i would have been waiting months and months and months and i've just not been willing to do that so another plus about value furniture is that right now and i'm gonna speak for right now as i'm posting this video check the date if you need to okay because i know somebody probably won't comment <laughs> your shipping times are very reasonable now once this video launches i can't make no promises <laughs> Because y'all know how the Ashley Furniture Bed video went. Y'all listen to me. Listen to me. <laughs> if this is something you're interested in, what I would say is act fast. Because I can see in the future this being backordered or delayed or just not being so readily available. But it is very good quality, very versatile, and very beautiful. So, again, thankful. I keep saying it, but I am. That's all. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day and I will see y'all in the next video. To me, this is similar to the clap. Whoa. Now, if you ain't new, that's my dishwasher, hold on. Girl. She won't let me live. Oh.
she won't let me leave dishwasher mm. now mentally i know don't start the dishwasher before filming like sounds obvious right but i the cleaner i got things to do <gasps> my camera stopped working for a second oh i'll be pushing my luck with this camera i'll tell you right now it looks good and stuff but did it oh and she is hanging on by a thread okay anyway i feel like it was a the fuck is that